Welcome to Siva 718. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for all the new subscribers we received lately. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification button so you can always be notified anytime we release a video. Guys, we are back at the OWN Pro 4K. Now, I do want to let you guys know I've been using the device. And I'm pretty impressed. You know, um, I still believe, of course, the NVIDIA Shields and the... Amazon Fire Cubes, all better devices as far as getting the full potential of your of your quality of movies that you're streaming. But this right here does the job. Now I do have a lot of questions about the internet speeds. Now this what this video is going to be about the uh, Ethernet port. Now one would think, you know what? If I plug this device up to my Ethernet port. I should get better signals. There should be way higher speeds and I definitely should have a better experience. But that's not the case. You guys got to understand something. This device, the Ethernet port on this device is capped at 100. It's a 10 slash 100 Ethernet port, meaning that if you use it, the highest you're going to get is 100 megabytes per second. So if you have a network that you're paying for that's over 100 megabytes per second, you're not going to see the full potential. So, for example, for those who have one gig or 1,000 megabytes per second in speed, you plug it into the Ethernet port will reduce it and cap it at 100. So let's do a test. I have the device right now set on its Wi-Fi. And... Just downloaded an app. I'll show you the app right now. It's called Internet Speed Test. So we're going to use this app right here. Now, let me open it up. Now, I have the device connected via Wi Fi. Actually, let me show you that it's connected Wi Fi first before we do that. Let me head over to the uh, settings and show you that it's connected with the Wi Fi. As you can see, the Wi Fi button is here. And it's connected to the network now let's head back over to the uh, speed test and we're gonna do a quick test here now it's gonna ping and we're gonna start the test and this is the test over the Wi-Fi so far we got 180 on the download and the upload so I have 116 still going 120 130 140 and these are the speeds via internet Wi-Fi so I'm receiving 180 over 146 now this is good this is um, pretty decent for my network but we can do better now the next test we're going to do is I'm going to plug in the Ethernet directly into the box and we're going to see what kind of speeds we're going to get there. So right now I'm going to plug an Ethernet port to the uh, router and then from the router directly into the box to see if we can beat these speeds. Okay, now I have the device connected directly into the uh, box and we can see we connected via Ethernet. Okay, so now the Ethernet wire is plugged directly into the box. Let's do a speed test. Okay, so those are the numbers that we had when we used the Wi-Fi. Let's do the test directly from the Ethernet to the box. Now, this is the port that comes on the box. Let's see what we get.
93.6. Remember, I told you it's capped at 100, so it's not going to pass 100 on the download speed. Now to upload, right at 100, 100.09. 100 so this is directly plugged into the box. And as you can see, the Wi-Fi is better. It's better to use the Wi-Fi. So what's the solution? What can we do? Okay, guys, what I'm going to show you is we're going to connect something that's called an Ethernet USB adapter. Now, what this does is we're going to take this device right here. I'm going to put it on screen and you can purchase this from Amazon. I'll leave the links in the description and you will plug this into the USB slot. Now we have a 3.0 USB slot. We can plug in this adapter to the 3.0 USB slot on the device. And at the end of it, it converts the USB into a one gig ethernet port. So we can do this ourselves. It doesn't come directly on the box, but we can create our own using this adapter. So let's plug this adapter in. Let's do a speed test and let's see what we get. Okay, so now that we have the device plugged with the ethernet cord, we're gonna do a speed test. So let's head to the top. As you can see, it is now connected via ethernet. Wi-Fi is off. And I remember you're gonna plug in the ethernet through the USB port using the uh, adapter. You're not gonna plug it into the ethernet port that's on the device. You're gonna use the adapter, plug that into the USB slot, and then use the, um, the end of that to plug in the ethernet cord. Okay, let's head back to the speed test. Okay, now that we're at the speed test section again, we're gonna run another test to see if we see a difference. All right, look at the download. The download's already at 250. And the upload, we're heading over to 300. Now it's past 300, look at this. Look at the difference. You see the difference, guys? 250 over 324. These are the results here. As you can see, when we utilize the adapter, we get the full potential of the internet speeds via ethernet. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, before we go, I wanted to take you over to the Amazon site. I will leave this link down in the description below. As you can see, this is the uh, USB 3.0 side that turns into the Ethernet 1 gig port. And as you can see, you don't need any power supply, nothing, nothing added to have all these wires. All you have to do is plug it right into the uh, USB and then plug your Ethernet right into the other end. No power supply is needed. No USB-C for power. Just plug this directly into the box, okay? Um, you know, here's some more photos. Turns it into one gig. You can use it for other things as well. That's an example right there. They turned that USB-C into the uh, ethernet. And this is it, okay guys? All right, so with that said guys, thank you for watching the video. Any comments, any concerns, leave your comments down below. I will try my best to respond to every single comment. Um, with that said, take care and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. If you have made it this far in the video, guys, like and subscribe to the channel. I am going to give away a PlayStation portal to one lucky subscriber watching the channel. Now, guys, all you have to do is subscribe, like the video, um, watch the video in its full entirety. We're trying to get the watch hours up, guys. Once we have the watch hours up to the point where we can get monetized, we're going to give away a PlayStation portal. So stay tuned. Continue to watch the videos. Eventually, we're going to give out this PlayStation portal to the lucky winner. Thank you.